Hello, my name is Shadow and welcome back for another episode of Victoria 3 as uh, the Kingdom of Heaven. In previous episode, we managed to get our, well, people at Bassinia going, and also we it kind of made the war that we were fighting a little bit more difficult, but it's going to be fine now. We got the part of Congo already, and we are colonizing there quite quickly. We're also increasing the uh, colonial affairs institution a bit further, but I did realize that actually right now, the Roman Korea is supporting the property women. So I think we're going to try passing that because that's going to increase the amount of workforce that we'll have uh, usable for our factories and all that. So let's get going with that. Also uh, gathering a bit of uh, bureaucracy so we can maybe do the Isthmus surveys because that would also be very handy. All things considered, we're doing fairly good right now. The standard of living is uh, 12.3, which is the, the highest point by quite a good margin that we've been thus far on this run. Of course, uh, the fact that we don't need to govern uh, Ethiopia right now, probably help quite a bit there. I do wonder though, what's the standard of living in here? So that's 10, okay, that's 9.8, 10.4, 10.8, and 7.4, oh dear. Ooh, right, they got a bit of uh, famine going on in there. Ooh, and rubber discovered in Oromia. Well, well, well. That's actually good because that means that they can build some more rubber plantations there, of course. I don't know if they are gonna have too much of the stuff there. So I'm hoping that there's going to be at least a little bit more. Uh, so fertilizer plant is about to be completed in Puglia. And then we'll get three government administrations. We'll get three more universities. So that will give us a plenty of innovation. Because we are... Oh, urbanized completed. Okay. Winds of change. Tuscany has come a long way since our attention was first brought to it. Uh, going from the small houses and scattered farmlands uh, to being uh, on his way to become a blooming metropolis. So more loyalists. Or uh, urban center throughput. I think we'll just take the loyalists right now. That'll probably be good enough. So we've got a good 51% chance of passing the property to women. So that's pretty decent. What's well, this then? Oppressor and oppressed. So the industries have grown more and more crucial to the future of the papal nation. So too has the working class. Disparate workers' movements have begun to unite under the cause of socialism. Still on reproaches. We're going to still try and hold on to the as long as we can. But one of the things that we should probably do is uh, do a little bit more relation improvement. So, first of all, I think we're actually going to go ahead and improve our relations with our vassal there. And I suppose another one that we could improve relations with is Britain. We can't really improve relations with Austria, but what we could do is maybe Prussia. Or Russia, actually. We'll improve relations with Russia so they will perhaps no longer be a um, rival. Although that will reduce the amount of influence that we'll have available, but that's fine. Assuming that we still have, um, oh yeah, we get 400 from uh, Russia as a rival. Fair enough. So far, uh, we are working on getting the country crane's research. That's still going to take about half a year. Then after that, vulcanization, then philosophical practice, and vulcanization especially is going to be really handy for using the rubber that we already produce a little bit. We don't produce too much of it, mind you, but we do produce some of it, and we are going to be getting some more up here. Well, actually, we don't have any rubber plantation in that's Congo, yeah. In um, Congo itself we do, but we don't have a lot of workers available there. Uh, but how much do they... Mm, yeah, no, that would be a bit too much. Can't quite afford that. I do wonder, so there's this one... Oh, there we go, Law Progress Amendment already. And still a good 50% chance, so we've got all kind of a coin flip whether we go forward on it or not. So this one's going to be hopefully colonized soon enough, most of Teke at least. Well, that's part of the Papal Congo, of course, which is currently split between um, us. Pretty, actually, no. Congo is between us, the Dutch. Uh, then there's the Bubangi and Teke, and then the French. So it's a bit of a mess in there for sure, but uh, we'll make something out of it. Also having a bit of issues with the money right now, but I suppose if we let the private sector take over the construction for a little while. Ooh, right. Britain is colonizing even further. Uh, Papal, uh, not uh, Papal, a great prison is importing steel from my market to this. Alright then, I mean that's going to give us a bit more money, make some of the uh, business a bit more profitable. Definitely need to get some more rubber and also more engines, so I suppose I'm going to go ahead and do that regardless. I'm going to go ahead and build another rubber plantation over here in Congo, just to get that uh, kind of going. We'll let the private sector take over a bit of the construction at least. Although now we've got almost enough. You know what? Let's go ahead and start the survey for Swiss Isthmus. It's going to be thousand bureaucracy, which we don't have quite. Actually, that's going to be even more than that, is it? So it is. All right. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and build a few more. Um, 
Have them at administrations then. We'll get two in Venetia and in Lombardy. Emilia will get one and Tuscany will get one. That'll be a bit expensive uh, construction work. And we are going pretty quickly down on the gold reserves that we have, but uh, I guess we can always increase the taxes if need be. You know what? I'm going to do that already. It will lower the legitimacy a little bit, but that's a risk I'm going to I'm gonna have to take for now. And France is starting to colonize Gabon as well. Okay, so they are going... Um, actually, where is that? Oh, right over here. Our colony is slowly growing. So we've got 4,000 peasants ready there, and over here we've got 7,000 unemployed. Now, of course, they'll need to get to work on things, and hopefully we'll get at least something out of that. Eventually, we'll probably have um, Congo as its own vassal, or own um, colony, if you will. But I think what we're going to do now is uh, we might go ahead and get rid of the also, I think. So if we start with... Uh, well, actually, we'll start... Yeah, we'll start with also, and then we'll put in Eritrea as the secondary goal there. It'll cost us a little bit, activating the troops and all that. And I'm going to put in the war goal, Eritrea in there, and we'll add that as a primary. I'm hoping that our vassal will take care of that fighting for the most part. I mean, we might send in like a small army from uh, Niger or something like that. Well, we'll activate that already. I know that it's not smart to activate this early, but it's a tiny army, so the cost for that is relatively small, admittedly. Okay, no progress. Oh, this got with the, the rural folk. Sure, we'll take a 15% chance of passing the law then. So we'll hopefully clear around that one. We got the innovation now maxed out again. So that'll be done. Oh, Egypt size with them. Okay. Is there anyone that I could call in? I could call in Britain. I don't know if I really need to call them in Britain though. I mean, it depends on the Egypt uh, troop quality, I suppose. They've got skirmish infantry, mobile artillery, and lancers. I suppose we got skirmish infantry as well. So why is the war goal? Why did they join in? Oh, they want Gondor from me. Okay, I'm not going to give them Gondor. So what would Britain want? Transfer states? Congo? Or either one of the Congos or the Niger Delta. I don't want to give those out, so I'm not going to call you in. I could maybe call in um, Greece? By offering them an obligation. I think what we shall do is we'll go ahead and send in the big army. Help defend the front... And then we'll have the smaller armies that will defend in our capital. Now, I do admit that we are activating the armies a bit too soon, perhaps, but uh, let's do that. We've got the bigger fleet over here, which we can, I suppose, deploy over there. Hopefully catch some enemies, and then we could get the other fleet. Oh, it doesn't have a commander. Right, let's get a commander in there. Meticulous, that seems like a good idea. I'm going to send that in here. We'll need to go all the way around. We will hopefully build the Suez Canal, of course. Um, right, so there's not going to be that many nations that can join in. We've got quite a bit of uh, infamy already. Oh, a little bit. It's not really that bad yet. I wonder, though, if I was to take... I want to kind of take the Eritrea, at least, uh, region. So we'll take that one as a war goal. I suspect that my troops uh, are still going to be slightly better quality, if nothing else. Admittedly, they probably have a lot larger armies total, but uh, I suspect that we can still win this one way or the other by doing the usual uh, attrition on the enemy. So our vassal has already sent some of their troops in there. The enemy doesn't have quite as high attack values as we do. Oh yeah, oh, that is a really good defense actually on our vassal. But I suppose, uh, well, that's partially my armies. I suppose we got two armies sitting in there. So yeah, the average is increased thanks to our efforts. And we are just going to be defending there initially. We'll hopefully sink a lot of their convoys, and I suppose we got the naval advantage, don't we? Oh yeah, we definitely do. So that way we can cause quite a bit of, um, oh, socialist demagogue. Alright then, we get a bit more radicals, which is not great. But it needs to be done. That is a whole lot of troops that they're bringing in here. But again, we got our troops setting, uh, or sent, being sent in. And if, if we need to, what we can do, actually... Depends on if they send in all their troops to the front line or not. We might be able to do a landing from Italy. Alternatively, what they might do is they might try to do landings in Italy itself. So we'll wait with that for a little while. But if need be, we can send this fleet or use this fleet to do the landings with the 30 battalions from here. And then go for uh, Lower Egypt and force Egypt out of the war one way or the other. And there's the Cantucranes, finally. 
So that is actually really handy because that then allows us to use in the ports and switch to the industrial ports. And we can also switch our um, shipyards, at least the big shipyards, switch to the steamships. We might provide a little bit of clip here still, but I suppose that's also another thing that we need to do is then uh, switch the fishing to use the steam trawlers. Get even more fish. Basically doubles the amount of fish that we produce. That will be rather handy. And I think we are going to start using a bit more dynamite on coal mining. So we're going to use that for a lot of things. So this might be a little bit expensive war, I do admit. At least we'll get the bureaucracy situation sorted out soon enough. Right, so we could potentially put in one more war goal. Maybe on Egypt. Like Congress State. If I wanted to take, um, let's say, Sinai, that would allow us to get the um, Suez Canal built at least. I think we shall wait on that for a little while. Because we're not really trying to conquer all of Egypt in this one. So Sinai would be quite nice, but we might be able to build the Suez Canal regardless once we've done the survey. Assuming that we got good enough relations with them, I suppose. So how long until the troops arrive? There's uh, one army already in here, or almost in here. No, that's the fleet, actually. Does that fleet not have... No, it does have a commander, but it doesn't have a large enough... Okay, we'll promote you. So we'll get to that command them into 40. Did this one already have... Okay, that one's good enough. So we're still... Well, we've got a little bit of troops in there. We've got our five battalions in there, but we've got another 25 days before the rest of the troops arrive. Of course, we did not add in any more war goals for this one. We don't need to get too much in for me, because that will start causing a lot of issues. But once we get the bureaucracy built, we'll let the private sector take over the construction during the war. There we go. Two arms... They'll probably start attacking us with quite a bit of troops. Oh, Lord Provost is voting. Excellent. Might actually slow down for a brief moment in here. So what's their situation in here? Are they trying to do a landing or is this... This is their fleet. Oh, we've got a bit of naval combat in here. I reckon their fleet. And that's the second Egyptian fleet. Ah, it's getting utterly wrecked there. And we've got our fleet, of course, in here, which could probably start doing a bit of a uh, convoy raiding. I suspect that there might be a bit of... Uh, Egyptian convoys going through there. Now, defense is not going to hold, but at least we'll get the... Oh, and that's not going to hold either. So they'll probably get a little bit terrain in here initially, but we've got the 60 battalions now in the combat, and this one's going to be an easy victory. They don't really have the strength to push uh, proper-sized uh, troops of ours. So that will already be quite helpful. I'm going to put this one into convoy raiding as well. So that way we can do most of the damage on them. They do still have quite a bit of idle armies up here, so they're not sending everything to the front line, although they are sending a lot. But this one's going to be a victory. This one's going to be a victory, so slowly but surely we'll probably retake the land that they managed to take initially here. Despite them having uh, quite a number, or quite a larger numbers of troops on the front line itself. That's not going to be quite sufficient. Wait, is this army part of... Oh yeah, that is part of the combat. I think we'll go ahead and attempt the landing. Plan a naval invasion into Lower Egypt. We'll take the fleet in uh, Eastern Mediterranean. That way we can distract some of the troops from the main front line here. And still keep uh, them back for the time being. If we can force Egypt out of the war quickly, that will already save us a whole lot of time we can get going with other things. But this uh, war, if we do win this, presumably we will, uh, then what we will be able to do is uh, take over Eritrea and the rest of... Um, so basically all of Ethiopia strategic region will be ours. They don't have a lot of troops defending in here yet. We got the naval uh, presence. So that's going to be the first combat. That seems to be a pretty easy victory for us. Of course, depends if they're sending more troops up here to join the combat or not. Oh yeah, they did. So it's going to be a little bit harder for us to perhaps win the next uh, battle. But that does distract a lot of the enemy troops in the south. So now it's, uh, well, it's still quite a bit more in favor in terms of numbers, at least for them. But that's not going to end too well for them. We're sinking a lot of the convoys, so that alone is already very handy. How's the battles in here? So we've got another combat. This is a bit more equal in numbers. I think we are still going to win this, thanks to the fact that we do deal a lot more damage overall. Although our stats aren't that much better, but the kill rate is much nicer. And there's the organization. Okay, so first of all, we'll go ahead and... Oh, what did we have in the military tech spreading? Oh, it's the floating harbor. Yeah, we'll take that one. 
Then in production, we don't know yet what it's going to be. But I'm just going to put in the steel railway cars for now. And we can switch that around in a bit. But the organization. So first of all, we can start using some of the rubber in... I think we'll start with the... No, oh, we've got so many tooling workshop. If we start using rubber in there... That's as well. It's going to save us a lot of wood, mind you. But that's going to be a thousand rubber. We can't afford that one. I think what we'll do is we'll take like the biggest uh, textile mill, which seems to be in Venetia. And I'll switch that to use the elastic. So that's going to improve the amount of luxury clothing we produce. It will reduce quite a bit of the regular clothing as well, mind you. So it's uh, not really all great, but uh, we'll switch more later. But right now we've got a bit of shortage of uh, rubber and we don't really want to go too far into that. So we've got the combat and oh, colonial affairs increased to level four. Excellent. And we're getting quite a good amount of money now that the private sector is taking care of the construction. We do also have a tiny bit of armor in here that we could potentially activate and send to the front line, but we probably don't need to. Okay, well, let's uh, stop singing the convoys in here for now. We can still keep on the fighting. So we've got 26% uh, progress on the landing. We might get in there. Once we get in there, we'll just defend for a while. So we've already got 36% advantage in the south. Now, of course, our attack values aren't really that much better than their defense values, and they got more troops overall, so we'll probably hold on and just defend for the time being. But if we do have a look at the losses already, so their side has taken a lot more than we have. Well, they've still got a fairly good war support, the Egyptians, but they've lost a lot already. And I suspect that since they are taking a lot of capital, and we've just got property women, so more workers, a bit less population growth. But I think we'll uh, survive that. So is there any other laws that we might want to pass right now? The resisted child labor might not be a terrible idea. Uh, who supports that? The Roman Korea does. Now the international would oppose that, but at the same time that would actually allow the education investment to go a bit higher and reduce mortality rates, so that's not bad on either. And also the trade unions, which are still marginalized, would support that, but I suppose the both petty forces and industrialists opposing that might mean that there's a bit of chance for things go terribly wrong in there. We'll give it a try. I'm guessing we're still... Well, actually, we haven't sent that many convoys of this recently. I think a lot of them were in here. Oh, there's a naval combat. Well, that's going to be an easy one. Mind you, untrained hands. Children working in the furniture manufacturing in Campania have suffered injuries trying to operate the machinery used in production. Um, we can keep the children off the factory floor. Uh, yeah, we'll do that one. Dependence income is going to be reduced a little bit, which will have a bit of an impact on the standard of living. But I think we'll just have to live with that for now. And I'm guessing the landings up here are now at uh, 53%. So if we get lucky with the combat still, we might get through there. And we can also have a look at the... Okay, they've still got 128 battalions there. Uh, which armies have the Contra battalions? This one's got 20. Which is currently in Lower Egypt. Front. Oh, right, in Oromia right now. Uh, so which one of these is actually better? Offensive planner? I think we shall promote you. We will activate the contrips just to get a little bit more troops under the front line. We would always activate or build more contrips as well if need be. But just to speed up the process in here, if we can start making a bit of headway on attacking against the enemy and taking some of the areas so we can force them out of the war, that would be brilliant. We don't have any combat going in here right now. But that's just probably just a matter of time. But it's not really... Oh, there we go. There's another combat. Okay, this one's... Oh! I was about to say, this is probably going to be a loss, but actually it might not be. Because manpower-wise, they don't have that much of an advantage there. They've got a lot more battalions, mind you, but their manpower... Actually, that's a good point. How much manpower do they have in here? They've got even less than we do. Alright, then while the offensive planner... I'm going to go ahead and start advancing the front. Since it looks like the enemy has stopped advancing down here. So we sent in 40 battalions or so... Plus one of the contrips that we start uh, trickling in. We can go ahead and maybe push them back. I mean, technically speaking, we've already pushed them back to the back to the pre-war border. But I suppose what we can do is uh, take on some more ground. Now, we might actually still lose this one. Thanks to the fact that we do still get a bit of penalty for the offense values, I think, due to the landings and all that. But at least we are tying down a lot of the enemy troops up north. Which means that our attack down here is... Oh, that's going to be a victory. It may not be a cheap victory, mind you, but it will be a victory. Oh, and there's a colony. Oh, we could turn Congo into colony. Um, I could do that. I'm actually not going to do that quite yet. 
Because I don't actually know if uh, I start colonizing, will all those provinces go directly to the Congo or not? Probably they would. I'm going to hold on to that area for a little bit longer. Maybe after the war we'll do that. I don't want to lo risk losing some uh, front line. Actually, I don't have any troops from there on the front line, mind you. But, uh, you know, risking uh, things like that during war is not really a smart idea. We did that once already, and it didn't uh, work out that well. I mean, we did eventually win the war against the Russians, but that didn't... Uh, it took a bit longer than what I needed to. Let's go to the first victory down there. I'm guessing the landing is now... Oh! Wait a minute, we actually won the battle? I'm surprised. We got 79% uh, or yeah, 79% progress on the landing now. We're still making pretty good money. The innovation is still increasing. Uh, the tech spread isn't very high though. We've got quite a few things that are having an impact there unfortunately. But oh, there's a second combat and this seems to be another victory. Again, not necessarily a very cheap victory, but a victory nonetheless. And we keep the enemy numbers quite uh, reduced in there. So if we take um, Blue Nile, maybe, and then maybe Eritrea and all that, hopefully we'll take a lot of the actual goals of the battles. Oh, there we go, low process amendment. Oh, it's got 75% support. That's actually pretty good. Because this one's going to be definitely a loss. There's no two ways around it. But it looks like Alsace's uh, war support is already zero. Egypt's war support is zero. So there's a good chance that eventually they will just give up. Now, we'll need to conquer some lands, especially if we can take Eritrea. That'd be pretty good. Pushing Egypt out, or if we can take some land in their capital, which I believe Lower Egypt is their capital, is it not? Yes, it is their capital state. And Sewer Survey is going to be done in... Well, I suppose we've got, what, six months maybe? It's 18 month uh, survey, so it's like a year and a half. Essentially, that we need to do, and we did start that quite a while ago, so... Yeah, probably about six more months. Hopefully by then we'll have the war completed. That's going to be another victory, there we go. Not quite enough to conquer the entire state, but that's already pretty good situation. We've got massive advantage in terms of numbers. I think what I shall do is I'll put in both of these to do advance the front. We'll still have a little bit of troops depending, just in case. But most of the time, I think we can push them pretty easily. Uh, I'm guessing the landing... Oh yeah, we did lose the battle, so the landing progress has slowed down a bit further. Well, that's another battle. This is going to be yet another victory. Is that roughly equal in terms of numbers where the kill rates are just going to make it to, or make the big difference? Plus, I suppose we did start with a little bit more than they did, manpower wise. Right, so what was it actually that started spreading? Uh, pump tracks. Okay, well, actually, that's not a bad one either. Getting oil would be very handy. I don't know if we have any oil bearing provinces right now, but I'm sure that we can probably get oil from somewhere. I'd imagine uh, in the Niger Delta there might be a little bit oil. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of it. I don't know if Congo is going to have, uh, or either one of these states is going to have oil. Probably not. There we go. This is already mostly ours. There's still got to be a little bit areas that we're sharing with the French. We're getting 0.7% per day. So that's already a pretty decent increase on that colony. And that one's going to be yet another victory. How's the landings up north? There's another combat going on, which we are going to lose. At least we're keeping them, um, again, busy there so we can advance in the south. And they won't really be able to resist our landings. I think we're going to go ahead and go and speed forward by now, though. There we go. That almost entire state has now been conquered. There's one more battle. This is... Uh, oh, yeah. That's going to be another easy victory. Well, I say easy victory. But a victory, nonetheless. Making a lot of money. Of course, we're not constructing anything ourselves. Half the... Ooh, the investment pool is dropping down quite a bit. I suppose one of the things that I could do uh, is just build some more rubber plantations. Now, oh, we've got a bit of um, infrastructure issue down here. Okay, we could probably build a... Oh, railway is already underway. Okay, I'm just going to go out and build another port there as well. And then, do we have... We could build rubber plantations up here. We don't have a lot of unemployed, but we could build at least one of those. Extra. Don't suppose I can... No, I can't build anything in here. At some point, it would be nice to be able to build stuff in your vessels areas if you need be. Or subject areas if need be. That's got to be yet another victory for us. I'm guessing that entire state will then be ours. After that, hopefully we'll take Eritrea. Oh, there we go. Low pros of voting. Or start advancing in the eastern part. So we can push also out of the war. We've got another combat down here in the coastline, which is going to be yet another loss. So we're taking quite heavy casualties in the landings there. But at least um, it's allowing us to progress uh, or yeah, push further in the south. And I think Eritrea will be uh, soon ours, at least partially. And thus uh, Egypt might start losing more of the war support. They would take the white piece already. 
I'm gonna go ahead and push for these in here so we don't need to worry about it. And we've got innovation 141 already. Literary is 61%. So that has been growing, and there's still plenty of room for grow. But I suppose we need to get the um, institution levels up a little bit more. Of course, if we can pass the restricted child labor, that will allow us to increase it already by one once we have the prerogative for it. Okay, so we did win a battle in here. We've got another battle going in there. So I don't think we actually conquered any land there yet. How's the... They got 108 battalions. We got 93 battalions total. Oh, there's another combat. That is... That's going to be a loss, actually. Okay, we might have to slow down the advancing for a little while. Unless... Oh, there we go. We did actually get some of Eritrea. Of course, that is not... Actually, no. They're, they're getting a little bit of uh, war exhaustion now that we've conquered some of the state. We don't have all of it. And we'll probably lose some of it already. They got so many troops up here in the north. We haven't lost too much of progress there yet, at least. Oh, philosophical pragmatism. There we go. Progressive population, cost multiplier, and 10% uh, more influence. That's pretty handy. So I wonder what that is going to start spreading in the society then. Because that is actually a really good question. Identification documents wouldn't be too bad. Steel frame buildings wouldn't be too bad. Uh, corporatism would uh, reduce the radicals, which wouldn't be too bad either. Uh, there's course. Of course, the film, but that's a different uh, tier. And nationalism wouldn't be too bad. Mutual funds would be actually quite handy as well. Well, we'll see in a few moments what is going to start spreading anyway. But we're going to have a loss there. We might have to slow down the advancing for a little while. Oh, human rights is spreading. Okay. Let's go ahead and queue that up. Uh, right, so we're going to take these and switch to defense for a little while. And see if that has an impact. I mean... Total manpower-wise, we still have the lead, but we've lost a lot of manpower. And recovering all of that will take some time. Swiss survey completed. Swiss so Isthmus surveyed. Um, we'll make it suitable offer. Acquire land in Sinai is now available. It's possible to contract Swiss canal in Sinai. Oh, we get a claim or we buy it. Okay, I think we're going to make a suitable offer. I don't know if they'll actually take it right now since we're at war. Uh, is that right? So that's a decision. Right, we need to have better relations than 20. And then we need to pay 30,000 for 90. Oh, wow, that is a lot. That is a huge construction cost. Oh, Luxembourg abandoned Britain. A revolution in the Netherlands, okay. Uh, so that was a bit of defeat up there. And we lost Eritrea. So how is um, Egypt back to zero? They would get more, but it cannot go below zero right now, okay. Well, I guess uh, since the con or rather the landings over here aren't really working out, I'm just going to go ahead and send this one back to... Well, can I even send this back to? I can cancel the naval image. Okay, we'll do that one. And then we can send in the fleet back here and do a bit more convoy raiding. So we can at least reduce the enemy um, economy a bit further. Uh, this will mean that the enemy will probably move a lot of their troops back south, but we can probably hold them back quite easily. I'm going to declare neutrality on the revolution in Netherlands. We don't really need to worry about that one. Greener grounds. Such as what the state of politics of, in Kingdom of Heaven, uh, Robert de Barbier has declared his intention to leave the country. We're uh, wishing its current custodians the best of luck in the years to come. Alright then, we'll get a bit more authority. I will take it. Any other areas? I suppose if we were to do landings up here somewhere, that might be a good alternative. We'll see how much uh, convoys we can sink with our fleets right now. And uh, maybe reduce the enemy size or troop numbers in here a little bit further. Well, surely we'll take quite a bit of losses ourselves. This is actually going to be a loss because of that. But at least the enemy is taking heavy casualties themselves. Uh, how is the army up here looking like? It's uh, pretty bad in strength wise. So we'll need to wait for a little while. I suppose one of the things that I could do is I could go ahead and uh, get some extra infantry. Well, we'll get some infantry and artillery as uh, contracts. That's total 20 contracts. So we can raise those. I'm going to give you a promotion. It'll probably take a while before we are ready to roll again. Oh, we sank a whole lot of enemy convoys now. Okay. Well, that will cause them some issues. Oh, we might actually win this. Just about. Okay, what about the battle in here? That's going to be a victory as well. What about this one? That is going to be a loss. There's too many enemies in there. Well, the enemy is going to be taking heavy losses regardless. 
And I suspect that the capitulation desire for Egypt is, uh, well, if they need to take more loans, then that might improve the situation. Oh, they did manage to take a little bit of ground there. But this one's going to be a victory. We'll retake some of the land. That one's going to be a loss. So we've got a bit of lack of uh, troops right now, for sure. There's a fleet going out, and that will probably get intercepted in here. Or they might try to intercept us, to be fair. We're seeing a whole lot of convoys in Eastern Mediterranean, so at least that's going to reduce the effectiveness. Industrial boom. Uh, we shall... We'll take the service and manufacturing industry through right now in Campania. We've got a whole lot of bureaucracy, though, so let's go ahead and uh, improve the education by one. We'll probably get the law enforcement increased by one. And do we have, I suppose... Hold on a minute. No, we can't do the skyscraper thing yet. What we could try to do is... No, we don't want to go back to child labor. So we won't do that one. These laws we kind of want to keep as is. Free trade, it's got a little bit of support from petite bourgeoisie, but it would radicalize the rural folk. And there's so many others that oppose it, so we're not going to go for it. It wouldn't really... Or most likely it would not pass. We could try... No, I think we're going to stay with the charity hospitals for now. Although the public health insurance would be slightly better, but... Uh, can't go for that one quite yet, unfortunately. We don't want to have enough support for it and all that, but uh, there's a few more institutions at least will be leveled up in the meanwhile. Okay, so we're losing a bit more ground there. Uh, once we have this army back in uh, relatively good strength. Uh, I mean, it's okay already. Defensive battle from Benin. Mm, you know what? Yeah, I'll take it. Of course, a little bit influenced, but that's all right. But I do also see that we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like us. If you haven't already, also got the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, bye-bye.